Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to cover some of the tools which you can use to fine-tune the rendering time for your Agile Point eForm. If you find that your Agile Point eForm is rendering a little bit slow, it can be because of multiple reasons. It could be because of the network latency. It could also be based on the user's browser performance, how it is working at this point of time, or it can be due to the eForm design itself. There are various tools which are already available in the product to troubleshoot these, which we will look at. So the first thing is check if there is any kind of a network latency. For this, there has been a tool which is already available in the product for the last few releases. If you render an eForm, you can do an F12, open the browser developer tool and type form load time details and hit enter. Now you can drill down and see. So it tells me uh, these timings are all in milliseconds. It tells me that the total form load time was 1.5 seconds. It shows you how the various lookups are performing, how many lookups were uh, triggered on this form. So it showed that there were two lookups. If you drill down further, it can tell you a per control rendering time. So how much time does the Kendo autocomplete uh, took to render? How much time the email control took to render? So you, you, can, you can see if a particular control is rendering slow for you or if any lookup is causing an issue. So if it is a network latency issue, you would see some of these values being pretty high. Now, next one can be, of course, uh, it might be related to your browser. The user's, browser, the user's machine on which he's rendering these forms might be pretty old. It might have an old graphic card or something of that sort. So there is an online tool called speed-battle.com slash speedtest underscore e dot php, which you can use. It tells you your browser score. So if you click on it, in general, a browser score of more than now, 400 is a good score. That means you have a faster machine. If it's below 400, you have a subpar machine. Now, this all is good. These are all uh, for, from a developer's perspective. You can, you can capture some of these data and see how your form is rendering. But there might be a situation where you don't have access to the machine on which it is running slow. It might be running fast for a lot of users, but slow for only certain users. So how do you capture that kind of a data? So with Agile Point NX 7.0 software update to release, we are providing you an option to capture some data remotely. So if you go to settings, build apps, form designer, you see there is a setting that you can turn on the eForm performance monitor. By default, this is off, but you might turn it on for a few minutes. You can say turn it on put a minimum threshold value, say six seconds or something. For sake of demo, I'm going to just put one second because my form was taking only 1.5 seconds. Click save. And now if I go in and try to render my form, it shows me a performance warning that you are facing a slow eForm performance and a possible cause might be one of these three and what are the best practices of solving this. So it takes you to a KB article. Now, as a user, I might just say, do not show me this message again. But before I do that, I'm going to go to the database and show you what was captured. It captures a row that for this application, this form, it is running slow for this particular user. And here is the time which was captured. Now, if as a user, I just say, do not show me this warning again. Click refresh. Remember, my setting is still on. If I go to the database, I did not see the warning on my UI, but it is still capturing the time for me, for my admin to troubleshoot. Now, if I go in and go back to my settings, turn this feature off after I'm done capturing my data. If I go and hit refresh again, it did not show me that warning. And if I go back to the database, it didn't have the third row. So you can turn the feature on and off after you have collected the data. With this, you can, you can troubleshoot how 
how a particular user's machine is responding if he's complaining about slow access. Thanks a lot for your time.